YouTube, Jay Kicks, back with another video, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. Of course, let me just get this thing out the way. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I'm doing a giveaway at 100 subscribers of a Gap t-shirt. So if you're interested in that, just follow me on IG and just hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. So hopefully you guys had a great weekend. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Halloween and most importantly that you guys were safe. You guys probably noticed I did a slight change to my YouTube channel. I did add the NYC to my name just because if you guys noticed, if you watch my previous videos, I'm always out on the road and I can't even remember the last time I recorded at my house. I, I like being on the road, embracing nature, and just being outside, you know. It's always good to get fresh air when you're outside, you know. So I'm always doing that. That's why I'm always recording my videos outside. But it is getting a little colder, so probably going to have to go back in the house in a little while. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the little change. I, I will be including the name of the towns that I'm in just so you guys can see my home state of New York and how beautiful it is over here, even though it's expensive as hell. But besides all that, we do have sneakers to talk about. And I got a pair of 700s that actually released around this time last year. I can't remember if it was around September or October, but we're in November now, but I got this in a size 10 and a half. You can see there it says teal blue, regular Yeezy. Regular Yeezy 700 boot made by Adidas and this is actually my first pair of 700s and on top of that they're extremely underrated I feel like it's one of those 700s that should have gotten a whole bunch of attention but didn't so here it is guys the 700 V1 in the teal blue colorway so right off the bat you can see that iconic outsole then you have your boost peeking through at the bottom of the shoe you have the fangs that you always find on the 700 model and i always feel like pictures really don't do yeezys any justice looking at this in person this this is teal blue if you've seen previous pictures it looks like they changed up the colors a little bit they actually went with like a lighter tone i kind of wish they kept the old color because i feel like with the orange laces it would have popped even more and it would have looked even nice but i'll talk about the laces in a little bit but like i mentioned it does have that light teal blue color along with the gray leather and also the gray mesh with the silver drips on the side and if you didn't know if i'm not mistaken actually this is the first yeezy to ever have extra laces so i kept the laces in the box it kind of looks um brown grayish a little bit i feel like these laces are nice too but the orange just puts the sneaker all together you know it, it gives it that extra pop which is nice and i'm really glad they went with the orange laces honestly it, nowadays we're seeing an extra pair of laces because they are going for that slip on feel on the sneakers but i feel like having the, the loose ones are always the best ones especially when you gotta rock the 700s like this i feel like having that infinity laces wouldn't fit the 700 v1 model so keeping it like this and it's true og form is really nice so i remember when these released these hardly got any attention in fact they actually sat on easy supply for a couple of days and even on adidas.com so i was actually lucky enough to snag this one and on top of that the 700 v1 is it's just a great model overall it is an iconic sneaker because the wave runner did change up the whole dad shoe game and the legacy is just carrying on you know they release different colorways in the year 2020 we actually haven't gotten any releases at all of 700 v1 but in 2021 we already got our first confirmation of the next 700 v1 model and that's in the sun colorway so that colorway is dope i don't know how long is it that they had that sample going it is really nice it's a great color combination and i feel like they should have just released it sooner but who knows Maybe they just recently created it. If I were to rank all the 700s, I'd probably have this one on my third. Of course, for number one, you have to put the Wave Runner because it is an iconic sneaker. It did change up the whole dad shoe game. And on number two, I have the Analog colorway, which is like extremely, extremely underrated. You really can't go wrong with an all-white sneaker. And on top of that, it's a V1 model, so come on, you really can't go wrong with it. And the third option, I have to put these in. Just the fact alone that they added the extra laces to complement the sneaker is awesome. Like I mentioned, I feel like they should have kept the old color, but I'm still satisfied with this. I hardly see people rocking this sneaker, honestly, but just tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. I just find it crazy that for retail price, they still have it for $300. You know, but who knows, maybe they'll try to change it up a little bit and try to make the 700 v one a little bit more cheaper so everybody can have access to it. But tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. What are your favorite 700 v ones and, and what do you guys think of the sun colorway coming out? You always have the few selective sneakers that you could wear in the fall. And with the orange laces, I feel like it's a whole vibe. 
So tell me what you guys think. Do you guys like the orange laces? Do you like the other laces that came with it? And where would you rank these and your 700 V1 list in general? Again, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm doing a giveaway at 100 subscribers of a Gap t-shirt. So if you want that, hit subscribe button, follow me on IG, and I'll show you guys some on foot. Hopefully, you guys are having a blessed day, and be safe, guys. Until the next one. Damn, babe, uh, you know what I just realized? Mm -hmm. From this party for the weekend, right? Mm -hmm. I already know what I want to wear, but I'm kind of missing something, though. What? Can I get a pair of sneakers? No. I'm going to wear dress shoes for a party that you have. Are you ever going to say yes? I'll think about it. Oh, okay. Mama, will you say yes? She's thinking about it, too. Maybe next time. Thank you.